drone hunting heralds a new epoch in warfare, concentrating on the detection, tracking, and neutralization of enemy unmanned aerial systems or drones that may pose a threat to military operations, infrastructure, or civilian populations in a cost-effective and safe manner. This burgeoning field has ushered in a new era of warfare. As smaller drones continue to leave an indelible impact on global conflict strategies, defense and security titan BAE Systems has taken the initiative to develop and test cost-effective munitions tailored to combat the burgeoning threat of mid-sized unmanned aerial vehicles. Enter the Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System. This cutting-edge system represents the dynamic evolution of military technology in response to ever-emerging threats on modern battlefields. Although not explicitly designed for countering drones, its precision-guided capabilities have proven to be a formidable adversary against them. Furthermore, the potential applications of this technology continue to expand. More precision than ever. Aiming to minimize collateral damage while maintaining lethal effectiveness on the battlefield, the United States Navy initiated the development of a groundbreaking weapon system in the early 2000s. The Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System, or APKWS, transforms the existing Hydra 70 unguided rockets into formidable precision-guided munitions. As the primary developer of the APKWS, BAE Systems set out to create a guidance kit that would seamlessly integrate with such a rocket. The outcome was a state-of-the-art mid-body guidance section equipped with a semi-active laser guidance technology design. This ingenious idea enabled the APKWS to lock onto targets with remarkable accuracy, offering a new level of surgical precision in the heat of battle. With a length of 73.8 inches and a weight of approximately 32 pounds, the APKWS is a compact and relatively lightweight weapon. The cutting-edge guidance kit features Distributed Aperture Semi-Active Laser Seeker, or DeSalle's technology, which provides exceptional target acquisition and tracking capabilities, and ensures that the APKWS can accurately engage both stationary and moving targets, even in challenging environments with limited visibility. Boasting a range of up to 3.1 miles and a maximum speed of Mach 1.3, the APKWS's design is a valuable asset for close air support and strike missions, allowing for rapid engagement of targets while minimizing the risk of collateral damage. The combat-proven rockets are also highly effective against a diverse array of both soft and armored stationary and moving targets. The system's potent munitions can be launched from a variety of platforms, including jets, helicopters, trucks, vessels, and weapon stations. As of 2023, the APKWS guidance kits stand as the sole United States government program of record for 70mm laser-guided rockets. at work. The Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System has an operational history dating back to the early 2010s, featuring successful deployments in various combat scenarios. An essential tool for modern warfare, the model's versatility has facilitated widespread adoption across the United States military, encompassing the Navy and Air Force. The APKWS was engineered provide a highly accurate and cost-effective solution for engaging targets with minimal collateral damage. This unprecedented level of precision offers the Marine Corps an invaluable advantage in neutralizing threats while significantly reducing the risk of collateral damage to civilians and friendly forces. The U.S. Marine Corps first deployed the APKWS in combat in Afghanistan in 2012, employing the AH-1W Super Cobra and the UH-1Y Venom helicopters where it showcased its precision strike capabilities by engaging targets with exceptional accuracy and reliability. Following its successful deployment in Afghanistan, the APKWS has seen increased utilization across various branches, extending to the Navy and Air Force. The system has been integrated into numerous rotary wing and fixed wing platforms, such as the AH-64 Apache, UH-60 Blackhawk, AH-1Z Viper, A-10 Thunderbolt II, and F-16 Fighting Falcon. In addition to its use by the U.S. military, the APKWS has been exported to several international customers, 
further broadcasting its operational history. Countries like Iraq, Jordan, Lebanon, and the Netherlands have procured the APKWS to bolster the precision strike capabilities of their forces. Over the years, the APKWS has undergone numerous modifications and enhancements, making it one of the most sought-after precision-guided munitions on the modern battlefield. With two variants that improve speed and accuracy, the APKWS continues to evolve and adapt to the ever-changing demands of the battlefield, ensuring that its legacy as a precise and efficient weapon system continues to make a difference. Drone Hunter Missile Throughout the years, the APKWS has been employed to target a wide variety of assets, including armored vehicles, bunkers, and small boats. As the prominence of smaller drones continues to grow in the planning and execution of global conflicts, defense and security firm BAE Systems opted to adapt and test more cost-efficient munitions to combat them. Though not explicitly designed for countering drones, the APKWS's precision-guided capabilities render it suitable for use against small, fast-moving targets. The APKWS Guidance Kit holds the distinction of being the only United States government program of record that enables 70mm unguided rockets to be transformed into precision-guided munitions, providing rotary and fixed-wing military aircraft with an affordable surgical strike capability. According to BAE Systems, the outcome is a highly accurate, yet relatively inexpensive, supersonic lock-on-after-launch strike weapon fitted with a sizable 10-pound warhead, capable of destroying large drones within seconds, either with or without direct contact. This significantly reduces or completely eliminates collateral damage. The concept was tested in November of 2022 and revealed in a press release the following month. Video footage of the trials depicts a General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon soaring over the sea and launching the compact rocket from a belly-mounted launcher. The company reports that they have completed ground-to-air test firings to demonstrate the effectiveness of 2.75-inch rockets guided by APKWS against Class II unmanned aerial systems weighing between 25 and 50 pounds and capable of traveling at speeds exceeding 100 miles per hour. Put to the test. In a statement, Greg Procopio, Director of Precision Guidance and Sensing Solutions at BAE Systems, said that, quote, Militarized drones are becoming more prevalent in conflicts around the world, and we're giving our customers an efficient way to counter them without wasting expensive missiles. Our tests demonstrate that APKWS guidance kits have the flexibility to engage a variety of targets to meet the evolving mission needs of the warfighter. The concept of using the APKWS in this role originated from a weapons and tactics conference in January 2019 and was developed with support from various branches of the Air Force. During a late 2022 demonstration in southern Arizona, five APKWS-guided counter-UAS rockets were launched from a containerized weapons system, successfully destroying every target, including fast-moving drones. In addition to the mid-sized drones proliferating in conflicts such as the Ukraine-Russian War, some of which are self-built and fit between store-bought craft and large military-grade UAVs, BAE Systems' APKWS rocket guidance technology can be used to defend against enemy jets, helicopters, trucks, boats, and weapon stations. Colonel Ryan Messer, commander of the 53rd Wing at Eglin, stated that the proof-of-concept trial conducted in 2022 could have implications for homeland defense missions and combined defense in the Arabian Gulf and beyond. Messer concluded, quote, The test was unprecedented and will shape the future of how the Air Force executes cruise missile defense. This is a prime example of how the 53rd Wing is using resources readily available to establish innovative ways that enhance combat capabilities for our combat units. Thank you for watching our Dark Tech video. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels to find more exciting historical content. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest videos. We publish content regularly, so stay tuned.